Okay, Zelly and I are gonna have a breath holding competition to see who can hold their breath the longest. Who do you think can hold their breath the longest? You think that you can hold your breath longer than me? Okay. <laughs> All right, so on the count of three, we're gonna hold our nose and hold our breath at the same time. Okay. And see who can go without taking breath first. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> So you took a breath first, right? Mine, yeah. Yeah, okay, so who held their breath longer, you or me? Yeah. No, I did. Why? Why? Because that's what happened. I held my breath longer. That means I win. I come in first, Zelly came in last. How does that make you feel? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. And that's how things happen a lot in the world, is that the world likes to tell us that we come in last place, or we come in first place, or we're more important, and you're less important. But guess what, Zelly? God never looks at it that way. To God, you come in first place, and I come in first place, and our neighbors come in first place, because God loves all of us equally. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So why don't you guys try to challenge your families to competitions? Maybe you've got jump rope, and you can see who can jump rope longest, or you can say who, who can hula hoop longest, or you can do the most amount of jumping jacks before passing out. Um, yeah, feel free to compete against each other and see how you feel and then take a look at the description below and talk about how God looks at things differently from the way we do in the world. Hope you guys have a great week and enjoy exploring, <laughs> exploring your Bibles together. Bye!